Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to make an all-natural, uncolored and unfragranced cold process soap for sensitive skin. I am replacing 50% of the water amount that is called for in the lye solution with coconut milk. Due to its moisturizing properties, coconut milk can soothe the skin and the natural fatty acids in this milk can help dry and irritate skin and remove harmful bacteria from your skin. Therefore, I'm weighing out the milk and setting it aside for later use. We are using olive oil as the main ingredient because it is very moisturizing. It contains fatty acids that benefit dry skin as well. It's also an emollient, which means it soothes and softens skin, giving it a moisturized feeling. The olive oil has been infused with chamomile flowers beforehand. This is an extra step that is totally worth it because chamomile has anti-inflammatory properties. You can add dried chamomile flowers in a tea bag to your oils and let it simmer for at least two hours. We are now going to add finely ground oatmeal to the combined oils. You can find the exact recipe in the description down below and give it a good blend before we add the lye to it. If you are a member of my Buy Me A Coffee page, you have free access to my recipe cards. They are very comfortable to use because you can soap along with it. Oatmeal has been used in skincare for centuries and for very good reasons too. The starches in oatmeal soothe the skin and the oatmeal also provides gentle cleansing properties. The next step is to add the lye water solution that is very concentrated because we reduce the water content to accommodate the coconut milk. I'm soaping very cool to make sure that the milk doesn't accelerate the soap and I'm stick blending to emulsion. At this point, I'm adding the coconut milk to the mixture and stick blend until everything is nicely blended. If you are starting out with soaping, you could also leave out the coconut milk. This recipe is very gentle and therefore great for dry and sensitive skin, also without the addition of the milk. Once everything is emulsified, we are going to pour the mixture into our molds. This is the Brambleberry Square Silicon Mold that I absolutely love. They are also available on Amazon and I left a link for you in the description box below where you can also find all items listed in terms of ingredients, equipment and tools that I use or that I recommend. If you're interested in a review of molds, I have a video here on my channel too, and I will leave it up in the right hand corner for you to check out. As you can see, the soap is still very liquid due to the high amount of soft oils in this recipe and the low temperature we use to soap. And therefore, in this case, I'm going to leave the soap for a couple of days before taking it out of the mold. Spritz the top with rubbing alcohol to prevent soda ash. It is five days later and I like to stretch the mold around the soap to determine 
whether or not it is ready to be taken out. If you notice that it is being sticky, just leave it a couple of days longer. There is no need to rush. You see, once the soap is hard enough to be taken out of the mold, it unmolds really easily and it will look nice and smooth. Although this soap is unfragranced, it has a very nice smell of chamomile and olive oil. And I absolutely love the creamy texture with the little oatmeal speckles. We are going to stamp the soap in just a moment. So here is an acrylic stamp with my logo on it and a rubber mallet. And I'm placing the stamp where I want to have it and I give it a light tap with the mallet making sure that the stamp sinks into the soap to leave the impression. Then I gently wiggle out the stamp. Typically I stamp the soap right after cut, or in this case after unmolding, but depending on the recipe and circumstances it might be better to wait one or two days longer. If you are interested in a video specifically explaining how to stamp soap, I will leave a link in the top right hand corner for you to check out. I like to let it cure for as long as possible due to the high amount of olive oil. It makes the bar really hard. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are interested in more soap making projects or skincare DIY. I see you soon and in the meantime, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye bye!